Andrade. I'd like to discuss something with you. I'm listening. My colleagues are only interested in the physiology of the Islanders and consider everything else to be superstitions. However, if we want to understand how they are transforming, we need to take a look at their culture. The potions they drink, the dyes they use, are surely the source of their physical changes. Why not talk about it with Siora? It seems to me that she would be the best one to help you. Siora is very suspicious of me. She will never betray the secrets of the Donegada. But I was told about a place of ritual called Kurganau, decorated with carvings and offerings. By studying them, I hope to better understand what is possibly the greatest mystery of this century. But they call it a dangerous place and I cannot go alone. Will you accompany me? Sorry, I'm already very busy at the moment. I understand. But think about it all the same. Anything else? Do you often hold strangers at gunpoint? Only when I'm being tracked. What about you? Do you often track young ladies? Only when they're attractive. Your charm guided us to you. Really? And how would you have known how I looked? I did not expect you to be so inane, Dasade. Anything else? Where do you come from, Afra? From Alima, near Alsad. It is but a small town, but there is a particularly renowned observatory there. My parents wanted me to become an astronomer, but I chose the Earth over the sky. I was always more intrigued by life rather than distant stars. Plants and animals fascinated me as a child. For this reason, I left Alima quite early to study in the capital, and I seldom returned. When did you arrive on the island? A little more than two years ago. My master, Dr. Rassili, suggested that I should follow him to Tirfredi. He needed help cataloging all the unknown plants and animals. How could I decline such an offer? There's so much to discover here. Do you miss the continent, your city, your family, perhaps? No. When I arrived on this island, I immediately knew that it was where I was supposed to be. I must leave you. Karantz, do you need something? I'm asleep.
Quiet, see, Renaixe. Do not take a step further. We come in peace. My name is Desarde. I am from the Congregation of Merchants. We would like to speak to your chief. Foreigners like you bring nothing but pain and debt. The last who came here took away our prisoners. I must admit to you that I am responsible. We had no choice but to free the sages. But I did all in my power to avoid bloodshed. I spared your warriors' lives when they were at our mercy. They spoke of you. They say you keep the words you speak. Will you keep your peace? I swear it. Then you may enter. But we have an eye on you. Darren, our chief, will not be happy to see you. You will need to convince her you are worthy of trust. Do it! What are you doing? Who let you pass? Your men. We are here to parley with your chief. Parley? With Renaixe? You truly believe that... Leave this to me. I want to know what they have to say. I know you, Renaixe. It is you who freed the Loyan prisoners. You wounded none of my own. That required great skill. Speak. I will hear you. There is a sickness in our countries that decimates the population. We think that the Tierna Hakadactus knows of a cure. We would like to meet her. To know your people sick will bring no tears to my eyes. The Renaixe. They take our people. They destroy our island. And they would shake our minds. And you want me to deliver our Tierna Hakadactus? The wisest of our people. I am not asking you to deliver the Tierna Hakadactus, only to help me gain an audience. The remedy that she knows how to make could save countless lives. And how do you know that she has a remedy for your faraway sickness? The sages said that they heard her speak of it when she came here. But why do you ask? Healing your people will only give your numbers more strength. Why should we help you? You could use this remedy as a coin for trading. I understand your anger towards those of the continent. It is not my intention to douse that fire. Consider only what this remedy could bring to you in exchange. You could trade it for a promise of peace. A trade? You finally are speaking in our language. But it is not peace that we want. It is that you leave us. That trade is something I would like. But your kind does not understand exchange. They are always lying. How to trust them after all the crimes they have committed against us? How can we be certain you do not want to kidnap the Tierna Hachkadaktas like the others? You have my word that after we have spoken with her, we will leave her in peace. If you betray that promise, you will become our enemies. You and all of your clan. I am aware of that. I accept the conditions. You will find the Tierna Hach in the village of Vigshardir, to the northeast of this camp. Now leave us, and do not betray your word.
Good day. I'm looking... What are you doing here? You are in a hidden village, a sacred village. The Renaiksi have no place here. I seek an audience with the Mistress of Wisdom, the Tierna Hakadaktus. Do you know where I can find her? The Tierna is in her home. She goes, she comes as her heart desires. Only her vogue Lendaig must know. And if I knew where she was, it's not me who is going to tell her, Renaiksi. Go away, leave me alone now. I have much to do. The Great Hunt is coming. You spoke about a Great Hunt. What is it? A sacred ceremony, of course. How in your countries do you honor your lands and assure their abundance? Well, uh, it's a bit... You Renaiksi are very strange. It is no wonder that you come to our lands. If you do not honor the land with the Great Hunt, you must lack game to hunt. Each year, one of our own, our best hunter, dresses up as the Andric. He becomes the White Andric during an entire night, and the others hunt him. If he escapes them, the game will be abundant, and the gathering fruitful during the entire year. It is a very important celebration. Please, now, I wish her no harm. I just need to speak with her. You speak well and say pretty things, but it is by your doings that you will be judged. Then, in that case, tell me what I can do. Hmm. There is much to be done in this season. And Pedir, the great gatherer, has not returned from the woods. Very well. Would you like me to go and get him? That would be good. Hello. Are you Padir? People in the village are worried about you. Esquito! Arenaixi! That I... I know no more if I am what you say. In truth, I fear being dust, waiting to settle on the earth. What has happened to you? Why such despair? My eyes have clouded. I see no more, nothing at all. I was once the great gatherer. But by the devil, why have they sent a blind man to gather herbs? No one knows. I said nothing to them. I know my village so well that I do not need to see to wander through it. But I can no longer gather the herbs of the sacred dye. I know they are here, in these woods, but I cannot find them. Very well. Can you tell me which plants you need? If you are certain that they are somewhere in this patch of woods, it won't be difficult. But how am I to guide you? The names we give to these plants are not the same as the names you give them. Describe them to me. I think I'll find them. One is a blue flower, the other a green mushroom, and the last ingredient is a blackberry. Very well. Don't go anywhere. I'll take care of it. I'm back, Padir. Yes? I found the herbs that you were looking for. Here. Thank you. You are good for a Renaixi. I did not know your kind bore souls such as you. I may return to the village now. 
I will tell them that you're on your way there. Thank you again. Uh, but I ask you, do not tell them what you have learned about me. I do not wish that they treat me like a broken cripple. Goodbye, Padir. You are here again. I found Padir. He should be along shortly. Whatever made him take so long? He is not a man to be bothered by the beasts. That poor Padir fell asleep under a tree. Age, I suppose. It seems like it would be the right time for him to take on an apprentice. Someone to help him on his walks. You are completely right. It would be a shame that such great wisdom be lost. I thank you, Renaixin. Your acts are as beautiful as your words. You are welcome here. And I hope you find the Tjarna Hach Kadachtas. Bortir to Mad Renaixin. Uh... Good day. I seek the Mistress of Wisdom, the Tierna Ha Kadachtas. I have no idea what you want with her, but no one in the village will tell her Renaixe where to find her. I do not seek to harm her, only to speak with her. I don't know where she is. Her Vogelandaig might know, but I think he will tell you nothing. You are in one of the most sacred villages of our lands. The Renaixe are not welcome here. And we are busy making ready for the great hunt. Maybe I could help you with something. Help us? Hmm. Why not, after all? It would speak well of your intentions. During the great hunt, we place bells on the path to keep the animals away. During the last hunt, there was a great storm, and the bells were badly damaged. Would you like me to repair them that would be good if not we need to make new ones and i am afraid we will not have the time Let's take a look at these chimes. Hmm. Its base is damaged. The wooden tubes can no longer hit each other. We will need to craft a new base. The shadow-faced warrior might be able to help. I saw him repair his armor the other night.
I need a bit of practice. I need a bit of practice. I need a bit of practice. about to get dicey.
These chimes are once again in working order. Seeing where it's been hung, it isn't surprising that these chimes are making no sound. They're far too low and can't catch the wind. Now with the chimes in the proper place, they should sound like they're supposed to sound. The base of this bell is damaged. That's why it no longer makes a sound. I need to build a new one. These chimes are once again in working order. These chimes here are simply tangled. I need to untangle them without breaking them. There, everything is in order. It will chime whenever wind blows upon the branches.
Well now, Renaikse. Were you able to repair our bells for the hunt? Yes, they are all working now. You are very surprising. But I should have known that as an Onol Manawi, you would be different than the others. I now believe your words to be true when you say you desire no harm to Artirna. You need to find her Voglendai. I will tell him that your intentions are heartfelt. Enter here. It is the dwelling of the Tierna Hakkadaktas. Very well. I'll be on my way. Good day. My name is Desarde. Would you be the Voglandag of the Mistress of Wisdom? Beer Tirtumod, Renaxe. Yes, I am Ongos. I have heard much talk about you from the people in the village. They like you. It is rare. We see few Renaxe here. And those who do come are quickly chased away. Do you know where I might find the Mistress of Wisdom? The Tirna Hachkadaktas? I regret she is not here. Do you know where she might be found? You have earned the trust of the people here by helping Padir and preparing the trail of the hunt. I suppose that I could tell you where to find her, but... What's the matter? You seem troubled. I am... I lost my sacred seal, and I feared the just anger of my wise mistress. I'm so sorry for you. I do hope you will find it. Then, could you tell me where to find your mistress? The Tirna Hachkadaktas went into the sacred bosque. She goes often there to meditate. And where could I find this bosque? To the west of the village, into the heart of the woods, there is a passage between the rocks that gives access. Be wary. This is an untamed place where the animals are wild and numerous. I must leave. Do it! You cannot... Very Not welcome here in Nexi. I regret troubling your rest. My name is Desarde. I am a legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Mev, daughter of Morrigan, daughter of Calvin. What is a legate? And what could he want from me? I am an emissary, a representative of my nation. I have come to speak to you about a cure. Of what cure do you speak? You do not show signs of sickness. I'm not. But on our continent, many people are dying from a terrible plague. We have named the sickness the Malachor, and none of our doctors have been able to heal anyone taken ill. We have heard talk from some of your people of a cure that is so powerful that it can heal almost anything. You would be... You must share with us the formula. Too many lives are at stake. You come here to my home. And you command me to help you. Arrogance. Renoixe. 
Please forgive us, I beg your pardon. We have seen so many people die of this affliction. This miraculous cure that we've heard talk of, could you share the formula with us? You are either completely crazed or foul liars. None of this makes sense. But I... Enough! I have lost enough time with your lies and your foolish thoughts. I do not know what you truly want from me. But I will not be used like some puppet. These roots are so interwoven and taut that it's impossible to get through them.
There is residue. It looks as if something had been placed here. She passed through here, there's no doubt about it. But how was she able to get past these roots? This stone steely has something to do with the entry of the grotto. But how? If you have an idea... These roots protect a sacred passage that the Donei Garda wants not just anyone to take. You are correct to believe the steely is bound to the entrance. You need to make an offering. In general, you place a seed of a particular plant chosen by the Donega that sealed the grotto. How to know which seed to place? And where would we find one? The easiest way is to ask someone who has already passed through the passage. There is a good chance that the Voglendike has already taken it with his mistress and could help us. Thank you, Siora. Your wisdom has been a great help to us. Were you able to meet the Tierna Hakkadaktas? Yes. But to my grave disappointment, she fled before I could expose my arguments. Yes, many strangers have tried to capture her many times. She must have decided you were one of them. I'm once again in need of your assistance. I must take the passage blocked by a door of roots. You had the honor of speaking with my mistress. If she chose to follow the sacred passage, then it is that she had nothing more to say to you. Why would I share with you the understanding of the ritual that protects her? I promise that I mean her no harm. I just need to expose as best I can the problem at hand. Her help is truly necessary. Thousands of lives are at stake. Tell me more. My people have fallen prey to a serious illness, which has almost certainly taken my own mother by now. If we do not quickly find a remedy, we shall all follow her to the grave. But the Tierna Hakkadaktas can help us. We are sure of that. She will know of a remedy able to heal the sickness that plagues us. Your quest seems noble and with great respect for the life of all. You must feed the offering ward to enter into the passage and meet her once again. I need to place a seed on the stone steely, don't I? Yes, you must make this offering. I cannot tell you from which plant it is given, but there is a chance there are more in her dwelling. I will let you enter this one time, but treat her dwelling with respect, I ask you. Thank you for your help. Do not be so eager to thank me. The place you enter is ripe with dangers. As do all sacred places, it defends itself with the wild beasts that it fosters. This passage leads to a forest where the ancestors of the Tierna Hakkadaktas makes her home. And why should I fear the ancestor? I have stories of the Nadaig being shared with you. In your language, you would call them guardians. Yes. I even encountered one. She was... Magnificent. Then you know of what I speak. I must leave. Ongo. What? I must... This looks like a collection of skulls from various animals. I wonder what purpose they serve. These skulls symbolize the animals. Through some rituals, we greet them. We thank them for feeding and dressing us, so that the next hunting season, they will once again give us the weak amongst their herds. All of this is extremely interesting, but alas, it won't help me open the root passage. This bark is covered with little symbols. It looks like some sort of writing, though I've been led to believe the natives have no written language. <sighs> The Donegada use these symbols amongst themselves, and only they understand their meaning. It is a secret and sacred language. I cannot reveal to you what the bark contains without breaking my bond. 
Can you at least tell me if they speak of a passage? A seed? No. I would have told you. All of this is extremely interesting, but... Alas, it won't help me open the root passage. All these crushed plants and these powders... She must have been preparing a potion. It might be the miraculous remedy. To be so close and yet to have no idea what to do with all this. All of this is extremely interesting, but... Alas, it won't help me open the root passage. This plant looks familiar. I saw some not far from here. Unfortunately, it's lost its seeds. I don't see any seeds here. The only clue we have is this plant. Let's try to find some other flowers. It might be their seed that opens the passage. these flowers. Perhaps this is where the Tiernaha Kadaktus finds the seeds that we're looking for. Perhaps, but this flower is usually rare. I've never seen such a great number of them in the same place. These flowers are similar to those we found in the dwelling of the Tiernaha, and they bear seeds. Those are the offering seeds we need to open the root passage. We should go try them. It is truly pastoral. Seeds, knotted roots. Oh, how I miss the ocean. We have what we need. Let's go back to the stone steely. Looks very ancient. I wonder what treasures it contains. Be respectful. We are in a sacred passage, which is for initiation and meditation. We did not come to defile this place, and we do well to hurry. The Tiernaha Kadaktus has quite the head start.
Ward off this fight! Yeah. Yeah. 